Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to the Atlantis 1957 Cadillac Eldorado Brome build. It's been a while since we saw this vehicle, but it is time to put our uh, side trim on the bottom edges and everything. I did go ahead and test fit them. I had to open up these holes right here to get it to... Um, let's move that so that ain't making a bunch of noise. That's the ruler, metal ruler. But I did have to widen the holes up to get the pegs on the back of this to fit, but they did fit pretty decent on there. I want to try not to handle the chrome too much because they say too much handling of it will leave fingerprints or wear it out because it is a paint. It's not plated. Um... But I think the Alcloud looks good. I did not top coat it. I figured I'd get it glued on and then avoid touching it at all cost after that. But I'm going to use the Gorilla Glue and I'm going to apply it with a toothpick to give me more control over it so I don't get glue all over the model. That would be sad. Especially how far we've come with it. Um, but I think what we need to do... I should probably chip away some of the... As much as I don't want to. Should probably chip away a little bit of more paint around here. That's thickly painted. A little bit more area to come into contact with. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. Boy, I really like how the that turned out. So, and then we'll just, I think we're going to glue the back where the pegs go and the bottom of that area. And that one requires this one. So let's, let's do the driver's side first. Again, test fit it to make sure that it's, I want to jump up and see if I'm recording. To make sure I'm recording. Yeah, I think even with the, the chrome bumper, the Alclad. Looks pretty, pretty darn good with it. That pretty much covers the whole bottom there. But yeah, I even put my finger on it, it fogs up. Don't want to handle it any more than I have to. So, I think I will get some of uh, the glue and put in these areas there where the the uh, pegs go in a little bit on the bottom to hold the bottom and I'll do the same with the top I'm just gonna have to run a little bit across there and then a little bit across the bottom here to get it to go down What I might do is, well, I don't know if I'd be able to get it in between there without getting glue all over everything. I'll probably do that. Glue here, glue here, a little bit on the bottom there. A little bit on the edge rail here and then along the frame part. And Hopefully we don't make a glue mess. But I got my foam board decal here. Or label. I'm going to put a little, let's put it up here so we don't accidentally get it all over everything. Let's do that. We got a couple little bubbles of glue there. Make sure my hands are clean because I would probably cry on camera if I got the CA glue on the, the body of it. And let's, I'm actually going to get the glasses off, you know. When I take the glasses off, it means it's time to get serious.
there. Probably going to pull this away a little bit. Kind of get some all over right here. So I'm not really sure where it lines up. Now I'm nervous, really nervous now that the glue's on there. I kind of just dropped it into place. Okay, just hold it into place. <laughs> we shall just hold it. Doesn't look like any glue oozed out, which is a good thing. Oh, I didn't quite get it snapped into position there. And it looks like it's already taking hold. Yeah. I think that's it for that side. Look at that. Little side profile for you. Nice. Again, I don't plan on, it doesn't have rollable wheels, so it's not like I'm going to be grabbing it off the shelf and pretending I'm driving it around my coffee table or something like that. So I think that's going to be plenty of glue there to take care of that work. And then I'll spin it this way and hopefully we can have a repeat of that on this side. some of that off. Don't want to do some out. All right, let's grab that other side. And hopefully I can land it into position. Ooh, that was close. So it looks like it got down. We'll just hold it into position. A little nervous there. I thought the back of it was coming up and I was going to get glue on the quarter panel. That would have been a bummer. It needs to be held a little longer there, it looks like. Or I wipe too much of the glue off. Oh, it's starting to stick. Just got to be a little patient. I think there we have it.
I got a little hanger on my bare metal foil on the door there. I don't know if you can see that. I'll have to get the toothpick out and might need a little trim on that because it kind of popped up. And I think we have it. So that's our bare metal foiled side trim on the brome. And it's kind of cool with that comb looking. Yeah, that with the bare metal foil and the actual car chrome. I don't think that looks too darn bad. Well, it's only 11 minutes. I thought that was going to be... I thought I was going to hover over the, the car for like three minutes each side worrying about dropping it in the wrong spot. But I think what we'll do next is go ahead and put the Autotronic Eye onto the dash while we're at it. Seems like a good time to do that. I'm shaking. <laughs> Yeah, the car, for some reason the car has always made me nervous. <laughs> but I'm going to need to get a little more CA, so yeah, I think, because I used it up. That should be plenty. It's only going to take a little bit on the edge there. I might turn it this way so I have a better make sure that it's on straight I'm wondering if I'm gonna be able to hold on to that very well it's not gonna take a lot of glue I did have to widen that hole out too as well I'll flip this around here Use the cleaner edge. And I got it in the wrong hand, unfortunately. I'll try to tweezer it. I think that's going to be the way to go. Make sure there's no glue on my hand. And I'm going to turn this back here. And we will try to set it right in. That is in. Pull it up a little bit. I did notice with it, it kind of naturally went downwards a little bit, just the way the slope of the dash was. But there we go. The Autotronic Eye is on as well. Boy, we, we made some progress today. It's been sitting in the back lot for a while and in its safe zone, kind of over by the P40. But, yeah, there we have it. Autotronic Eye. I'm going to make sure I don't have any glue on my fingers again, and I'll pick it up and give you a closer look. But, bare metal foiled side chrome. Autotronic Eye. And the next time we see this, we are going to be putting the windshield on. Yeah, we're looking at windshield back window and the side glass I'm I'm kind of curious because that glue's not instant setting I might have to put some glue on the side and let it tack up a little bit before I stick them on the side edges of the windshield but still not sure how to approach that yet but we're going to be putting the glass in next
I'd like to thank everyone for watching. I bumped the camera there, sorry. <laughs> and we'll see you guys next time.